What up Sailor Senji? My name is Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is another Mandrake Monthly. This is a monthly video or it might be a bi-monthly video depending on how many packages I get from Mandrake. Mandrake is a used anime and manga store which is located over in Japan all over the place. There are several different storefronts however they also have an online store where you can ship things overseas. I do have a tutorial in the works for y'all in case you are in interested in purchasing from Mandrake because it is a little bit confusing working through their website, but once you get the hang of it, it's super, super easy. But today I just have a few different unboxings for you of some fun things that I got from Mandrake. So I'm gonna go ahead and break open into all of these different packages and then I'll show you what I got. Oh my God, they tape these up so good. It's so hard to get into them. Okay, so for this Mandarake shopping haul, first off, I got a series of different keychains. So the first one is Sailor Pluto from the Sailor Moon Cafe, which happened back in, I believe, 2017. I've been slowly adding these to my collection, so this is the third one, fourth one that I own now. But she was a really good price, so I decided to go ahead and grab her while she was still available. And you'll see some close-ups here. It's another acrylic keychain. I definitely prefer acrylic keychains over the stands, although I do have a couple of stands in my collection now. So these two are very old, very rare keychains. And these are from the 1990s. Uh, both of them are from the Eternal Sailor Moon series. So, and on the front it says Bushojo Senshi Sailor Moon, and then underneath it it says Sailor Moon World. And on the back of both of them you'll also see a toy sticker, which is nice. And they come in really, really nice packaging. Since these are so rare, I'll probably just leave them in the packaging and display them. I don't think I'm going to end up using them since they're so hard to find, but I really enjoyed being able to find these and put them in my collection because they're very, very pretty enamel keychains. Up next, I got this really cute vintage enamel pin of Super Sailor Moon. She looks adorable and it's very, very cute. Of course, it is kind of hard to see because a lot of the enamel pins from the 90s were in gold instead of like a dark nickel color, so it's kind of hard to see her outline, but it's a really cute pin with a couple of hearts in the background and it comes with the backing so it looks like it was kept in really good condition throughout its life so far so it's gonna have a happy new home here on my pin board so these are really cool um i got two of these even though i've seen others on mandarake as well uh, they were slightly pricey for what they are but these are basically wooden lucky charms and they are the kind of charms that you could generally buy at a temple in japan or a shrine in japan so so we have one of Sailor Mars, which totally makes sense, and then one of the Inner Sailor Scouts. Uh, I'm not sure which shrine these are from. It's really hard to tell and I can't read it. Uh, this one does say Sailor Moon R on the side, but the rest is in kanji and I can't understand kanji. This one actually might be Hikawa Jinja, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna have to ask my friend if that's Hikawa Shrine. Uh, there is a real Hikawa Shrine in Zabu Juban, which you can go visit. And um, it's really cool because when you go there, you'll see a whole bunch of different like little pieces of paper tied on trees and little um, wooden plaques that people have written on and a lot of people will like draw anime characters from Sailor Moon on them so it's very very cool to go to the Sailor Mars shrine that the anime and the manga were both based off of. And by the way there's actually two of those shrines so it's really cool to check them out. I did go to Japan back in 2016 and I got to do like basically an entire Sailor Moon real life locations tour and uh, if you want to see the video on that I did post the video on my personal channel which is a vlog channel, but I can totally repost it here if you want to see that and kind of walk through how to get to all those places. All right, so next up I got a couple of handkerchiefs. I really like collecting these, obviously, so I got a couple of them. This first one is of Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon with Pegasus in the background. It's from Super S, so it's very, very cute. And the second one I got is from Sailor Moon Stars. So this one includes the three starlights in the background and then it has eternal Sailor Moon on the front. And of course, both of these are vintage, so they're very hard to find. Again, they're pretty rare and they are slightly pricey for what they are, but I like collecting some of the nicer vintage quality items. Is that a kitty? Do I hear a kitty? Starbuck? Starbuck? 
She loves making noise. I also got this clear file, even though I went in 2016 and I did go to the Sailor Moon exhibition, which was happening in the Mori Tower. I did not find this clear file while I was there. I was able to get my hands on the other one that they were selling while they were while it was there, but this one was sold out. So I did find it on Mandrake. Unfortunately, they folded it for shipping and there's a little tear at the top, but nothing too much to worry about. So it does look like it's in decent condition. I'll just have to flatten it. But if you have seen the original art by Naoko Takeuchi, this is one of my favorite art prints by her and it's so beautiful. It just depicts each of the Sailor Scouts so perfectly and they look like they're glowing. So I absolutely love it. So the last two items are the biggie items for this month, from Mandrake at least, and these include the Moonlight Memory Series gold version of the Star uh, Pendant, the music box that is from the anime. So I do have the pink one already, so I was missing this one. I'm very excited about that. And I also got the Figure Arts Zero Shoet, I think that's how you say it, but it's of Princess Serenity, and this one is hard to find under a hundred bucks, and they had it for like $72, I believe, after the <laughs> after the exchange rate. So I was really happy to find her. I'm gonna go ahead and open her though and make sure that she's like all there because, you know, sometimes buying things from overseas and when you receive them, they might be damaged or something in transit. So I'm just gonna make sure that she's looking good. So it looks like she comes with a little how-to on how to set her up. And the box itself has a really pretty print on the inside. I'm sure you've seen all of this on the reviews that have been on YouTube for like ever. It also comes with this really cute postcard. It's a very pretty postcard that went inside the box. So that's really nice. And of course we have Seda Moon, Princess Serenity. She looks beautiful and ooh, her dress is translucent. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this beautiful figure. She's so pretty. Even the moon has really pretty airbrushing on it. And oh my gosh, the ripples in the water underneath her. Oh, she's amazing. I can't wait to set her up. I'm doing that like two night before I go downstairs and eat some frozen pizza with my husband because we're lazy and we don't feel like cooking tonight. Okay, and this Moonlight Memory Series locket. I need to make sure this thing plays and has the chain on it. Where's the chain? Oh good, there's the chain. Whew, I was gonna say, like the whole reason I was holding off on buying one of these is because Weirdly, a lot of people didn't keep the chain for some reason. I was like, that's a very important part, so I'm gonna just save up my money until I can find one that actually includes the chain. So I found one that has a chain on it. Unfortunately, the chain's all bundled up, so hopefully it's not in a knot. But, oh yes, okay, it looks good. Yay, we have the chain. Wonderful. We have a cat talking outside the room, in case you're wondering who that is. I'm leaving her out there because she likes to get into everything behind me while I'm back here. She's putting her paws under the door too. If you're wondering why she's called Starbuck, it's because I'm a big Battlestar Galactica fan. I also have a second cat. She's a little black cat and her name is Luna. I'm still waiting on Luna to actually tell me that I'm a Sailor Scout, so any day Luna. All right, let's make sure this thing plays. So you have to open it to make it play. You can shut up now. Oh, it's so pretty. Cool, so everything works, everything looks great. I'm super happy with my purchase from Mandarake. Luckily, it seems like they only accept items at their stores, or at least they put everything online that is in really good condition, or they make sure to make a note of anything that's messed up. However, sometimes the Google Translate on those is a little bit weird. But again, if you're interested in purchasing things from Mandarake, I do have a video in the works on a tutorial on how to do that on their website. Uh. So that is everything for today in my Mandrake Monthly. I might have another Mandrake Monthly uh, before the end of July, but we'll see. As usual, make sure to subscribe below if you're interested in more of these Sailor Moon videos, and don't forget to comment on any reviews that you wanna see of any of the items that I got in the mail today. My name is Sailor Snubs, and I'll see you next time. Johnny.